are not a human being, you're a divine being. So everything that's thrown at you on the lower third dimensional level, you switch it up and it becomes a healing aspect of your life. So you never accept it as a curse, though so people might accept it as one. They might intend it to be one, but you have the power to change anything in the universe. So when you don't use this power for your good, that's your freaking problem. You can change it, but you don't know how to. You didn't know it was possible. You, whatever the reason is, you're stuck with the curse. So there's no curse that I'm stuck with. Anything made by man or anything else, it's not a curse. There's a blessing in the curse. You've got to find it and uncover it. It's an adventure. It's a treasure map. <laughs> and you play yeah, with it. That's, yeah. You, took, yeah, I, you, you know yeah. what was funny is you, you played with my psychology in such a funny way that I had to laugh with you, and that's how it got me to look at it. You, it was like a separate thing. That's how you can handle it. You have to first laugh at it before you can heal it. Laughter is the beginning of healing, uh, self-healing and all healing. So when I was laughing at your psychological profile, I made jokes out of it. You got comfortable with it. Then you say, hey, this is not a big thing. I, I can handle it. And that's what happened. Slowly, your psychological part of you changed and you saw it as a blessing, not a curse. And it helped me get through the toughest of yeah. things I've never thought I'd ever be able to do. And now, you can play with it because you're so far above it. And so everything is a game. Yeah, that's why so I like every game you play. Even uh, yeah, everything, every game you play in life is to make you happy, not to make you sad. So you take all this negative stuff that's coming at you from people. They don't know the, what they're doing. But when it goes through your uh, energy field, it turns out to be misty rain or rainbow. So what they're throwing at you, garbage, you turn it into magic. You magically turn it into something that helps you. Not that's. That's what yeah. I'm experiencing mm. when people talk to me. Yeah. You do it more, it's yeah. Like being, it's uh, happening to you no, more. It's, like it's, ha it's, yeah. it's a natural thing. You are automatically doing it because you're in the God space, so it does it for you. You don't have to think through it. But eventually, you see all the signals and you recognize the God energy and what it's doing for you. Then you start to employ it and do it yourself and don't depend on the energy to do it. But you take responsibility and learn how to finish yourself through the darkest moments. So there is no dark moment. There's no such thing as yeah. darkness. Only, only in the third dimensional world. Every other dimension doesn't have the darkness in it. It's only here because it's so heavy. So Everything you look at heavy. dark, you know what you see darkness as? Pixie dust. Yeah. Oh, the darkness is coming. That means I'm going to fly pretty soon. <laughs> yeah. It's it's game, game's on. <laughs> game on. Yeah, that's I'm going to find out what this darkness can do when it's working for me and not against me. So nothing is against you. It's just perceived that way. It might be intended that way, but it has to get to your energy field to affect you, and mine is too strong. Nothing can affect me in this world. So yeah, I, I didn't know exactly what you were doing. But I knew that you were... Yeah, 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 but you saw it done right. Yeah. You saw it done but right. I saw it done and I go... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I started doing it to myself so I didn't call you right. and like, be crying and whining. Right. So right. I promised myself, I'm never going to whine and complain to this guy because yeah. he's too funny. And if I yeah. do, he's just going to make a joke out of it. i got to figure this right. out. <laughs> so in, instead, of, in, instead of whining, we're now at five-star dining. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, I know. And I try to explain this to people. So, like, no, I'm joking with you. But listen to this. This is a deeper meaning. Where once you were whining, you're now dining. But it's digestive, digestive to the soul, food. It's food for the soul. So all this darkness around you is actually food. And your soul eats it up and loves it. Like, do you have more where this came from? Yeah. What's like, the next one? You're asking for more doctors. You're asking for more doctors. That's crazy. <laughs> as humans, we don't do that. But as a divine being, you can digest it and use it in a positive way. So you want more of it. 
So I would look, I would look for all these opportunities to grow to having that experience, or actually it was food for my soul. Make sense? Yeah, yeah. I get these yeah. people calling in, and they're, I see their divinity. I see their kind. I see all the good yeah. stuff in them. And then they right. present these really heavy things, man. They're like, right. oh, this is right. serious. And the next thing I know, we're laughing. And I forgot right. what we were talking about. What were we talking about? <laughs> and what it is is when they show you these things, you know what they are? They, what is what they represent? Anchors to the soul. So they're anchoring you into the third-dimensional world. You can't get out of it. As soon as you pull up anchor, you can sail the seven seas. Oh, I don't even, this is happening, and I don't even, yeah, you're explaining what's going yeah. on, I didn't even. Yeah, you don't even know, because you're not consciously aware, when you do it a thousand yeah. times, then you get consciously aware of it, so it takes practice to get aware of things. Oh, yeah. okay, I get yeah. it. Yeah. Very cool. So every time, every time I had an opposition in my life, well, no matter what it was, hurt feelings, anything, I would, I would address it, I would not run away from it. And as I addressed it, I addressed it a thousand times until we, I became the master of the thing. I've done that in every human attribute that I possess. I have become the master of it. So there's nothing to master anymore. I just have fun. Oh, you know, all the psychotherapy and everything, they drive you right through the pain, and, you, and everyone gets stuck in it. We yeah, and, and you get wrecked. You get wrecked. You, start to, you, you become yeah. a train wreck. Your train is on the right course. Yeah, your psychological is a little bit off, but the train was still on the track. By the time there's three of you, there is no track. <laughs> there's no track. It's just a train. <laughs> You're just an oil still up, up yeah. in flames. Yeah. Boy, we yeah. never did that. See, that's, the, that's, the, human, that's that. the human way of healing. The human way of healing is disastrous. They leave you yeah. worse than you were. Yeah, it's really a bad thing. And they don't know it. You know, they think that's the best thing. But anything done on a human level is disastrous. You must be on a God level, or else it doesn't really do you any good. It doesn't serve you. Anything that's not right. on a God level does not serve you. It serves itself. Yeah. Yes, because that's how it's destructive to do it. Yeah, it's self-destructive, but it's meant to be that we came here to learn through darkness what light truly is. It's an, a distorted form of darkness, but once you learn it and you master it, and you master darkness, what else there is to even master? There's not, you don't have to master the light. You're already our master of light. But you need it to do the hard thing. Where it. That's why we forget our divinity and we come here so we can yeah. master darkness. Right. And then, so when we turn to our divinity, we're ten times more potent. So we need a world like uh, this to come to. I see it retools us to be more potent. So what? other people, what, what do you call that? Other people's garbage is my treasure. <laughs> it's my treasure. It, it's like Back to the Future. Yeah, the, yeah. The it's so and it funny. Go through the future. It's so yeah. simple. It's so simple and so funny that no one would think of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not within the oh. human realm to understand, so it just goes over their heads. But it's all there. Everything is in front of us. We just don't see it. That's all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I realized that talking with you, I already knew the concept. I was doing it to myself, but I couldn't unravel it. I, I didn't know where to go or how to do it, just like you were well, explaining. A, a practical way I can explain it. I used to dive a lot and get fish for the family, and I saw a shark about eight times. And I'm by myself now. I'm out there in the deep by myself. So there's no other choice but to attack the shark. I go in attack mode, my whole energy, I'm yelling almost underwater. Ah! You're probably doing this good <laughs> <movie. laughs> And the shark picks up the frequencies. This guy's yelling at me. Didn't they tell him I'm the boss out here? He, you know what I mean? He works for me. <laughs> and the sharks dig. We talking like they're afraid of me. So I put them into fear mode. Instead of being in fear mode, I used fear mode against him. And it worked every time. It worked every time, man. <laughs> yeah, man. I used to see the shark do that, man. I've noticed that yeah. with with darkness. Like, lately, when I, when I show up 
I, I heard him scream one time. Oh, no. <laughs> He's here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, why? What, what's the problem? What about, I didn't do anything. Yes, yes. But they already know what's going to happen. See, one time, sometimes I think they made me hear this. I was hearing these dark spirits at a conference. That there, there was a few of them. I don't know how many. But they're talking. And one of them says, you know, we've got to do this, something about this cafe kill guy, man. He's really, you, we, we can't do nothing. We've got to, we've got to figure a plan. So who does, who wants to go down and meet him and, and meet him head on? One of the spirits says, heck, it ain't going to be me, buddy. Get that butt. <laughs> and that's what I said that. I didn't go down. Somebody else was going down this time. But it was the hilarious thing I ever heard that. They were afraid of me. And they didn't want to face me, right? And it just sounded so funny. It wasn't even serious, man. It just sounded like, oh, yeah, I'm a crack out, man. He was going to that kind of thing. I don't know what to do with me. And it's so cute to, to, to be able to hear it in that light. I likened it up. I likened it up dark. That's right. And, it, and, uh, and then eventually, I realized that darkness is not my enemy. It was set up this way in this life so we could learn. And so because they were working for the same person I work for. <laughs> we all work for the God in a different way. And I realized that they're his servants. Just like angels. Like the other day that who's the delirious to me. You know what angels are, right? Messenger boys. <laughs> and it was like a, a put down and I started busting out laughing. Because that's the way they see it. In a humorous way. They're not putting them down. But they're just making you we check reality. What you guys call angels is just messenger boys for God. We're way beyond messenger boys. We have our own independence. We have our own choices we can still make as divine beings. We're not messenger boys. <laughs> oh, I started fucking yeah. laughing. I said, holy <laughs> shit, what a, what a way to look at it that way. And I cracked up, man. I cracked up. So then I saw darkness. Our darkness is, is serving the Creator, but in a roundabout way that we can't see what they're doing for the good, so we live with bad. But then, eventually, they became my best friend because they taught me all my skills came from darkness, didn't come from light. And so I have a different take on darkness now. They're my brothers. They're just serving God hey, in I, a different way. I, I saw That's this all. this morning. This is really funny. So I was mm -hmm. at the gym working out, and I do a lot of... I, I, just a lot of things go through me when I'm working out. I don't know why. It's just, yeah, right, right. No, that's your meditative state. It's like a meditative yeah. state when you're in a, when when you're when you're doing with your body. You can focus on your body, and you step out of your mind. And so, yeah, it's like a meditative the energy state. I'm producing to work in the workout is just like driven in into the ether or something. So here I am, right. and I was thinking, I was thinking about right. how do I? So this is what I said. I go. I was running it through, and I, and I think people look around at me sometimes because I actually kind of right. talk real lightly. Right, yeah, right, 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 right. right. You're talking to yourself, right? Yeah, so it goes like this. I go, uh, some of this stuff I have to tell in the story format. All right, here's the story. Oh, my gosh. I was down in hell. I was down in the basement. In fact, I even was below the basement. I didn't even have visitors. Yeah. And, so, yeah. and a lot of people think they need to be saved. The elevator said DB. Below basement. <laughs> Below basement. Below basement. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> yeah. Only I'm allowed to go that low. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. <laughs> so I, the way I was yeah. explaining it, it's going, oh, I can explain it like this. You know, Kavi Q, he didn't come down there and pull me out. What he did is he came down there, checked it out, and goes, hey, brother, we got to feng shui this place. Let's get a TV, watch yeah. the game, get some couches. Hey, devil, bring us some ice water. You some pop, work for some you. popcorn, air conditioner. <laughs> yeah, popcorn. Kitty hot air conditioner and popcorn. Yeah. And then they go, well, yeah. what happened is we got feng shui so much, the devil showed up and said, you two guys get out of here. You're ruining my place. Ah, you ruined my place. <laughs> You're making too many changes. You're making too many. People expect it to be hell, and you make it in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> See when you can make oh. the devil think that way, you you beat him. You you won already. You won. <laughs> He's backing up. He can <laughs> back up more. Beep beep beep. You know, and the trucks back up. Beep beep beep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, 
took it all his oh, hey, you can't be around these guys. Yeah. They gotta leave. Yeah. They're very vivid. Yeah. <laughs> no, you guys you guys don't don't hang out with these guys. Don't hang out with these guys, they'll change your life. <laughs> yeah. You work for me, he had to reestablish himself. You That's you funny, out man. of here. <laughs> funny, man. I, was just, yeah. I, was I don't even care if you pay the rent for this month. I'm giving you back your rent money. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to pay you to move. <laughs> I'm pay you to move, right? Uh, you see, when you can do that, you won, you won the game. You won the game, right? Yeah, that's what happened. That's how it felt. That actually happened. That's that last right. summer when, when I was flying in the plane and I was calling you on the phone. And I go, oh, what just happened? Oh, he just uh, he told us to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. uh, he knows too much. He knows what we have to leave. Yeah, that, <laughs> he's gonna screw. Yes, he's gonna, 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 he's gonna so come funny. in the construction team, rebuild the place. We can't have that. See, oh, there's oh, something man. that I, I've never heard this before. This is new to me. You know when you talk to yourself, yeah. it's psych psychosomatic. You're you psychologically yourself. The only way to do it is to talk out loud. So people think you're going crazy. Actually, you become insane because <laughs> now you can do it yourself because you're talking to yourself and you're acknowledging yourself at a higher level, and it works. It it, it, it unravels you. Yeah, so I talking to yourself is that bad. With myself. If, if yeah, you're but... talking to yourself has a directive, a positive directive, you're just talking because you're crazy. That's different. But yeah. there should be a purpose for you talking to yourself. There is a higher purpose. And if you find that, then you'll be talking to yourself a lot because you realize you, it's a healing thing. Yeah, the Not whole workout is like that. I talk to myself the whole mm -hmm. time. Yes. And then I experience yes. things. And then I realized, oh, wait a minute. I'm having experiences within myself, talking to myself, and I don't really have to physically go do it. It's the same it's, thing. It's, a, it's, a, deeper, oh, it's that was... a deeper psychology. There's a place I recall Not too big, facts kind of small The people there know they got it all A simple life for me Helio to Kauai and the by the bay Wailua River Valley is where I used to play. The canyons of Waimea standing all alone. The magic of the Garden Nile is calling me back home. When I was young, not too smart, I left my home looking for a brand new star. Find a place that's better still Now I know, I know I never will Hele on to Kauai, Hanale by the bay Wailua River Valley is where I used to play The canyons of Waimea standing all alone Magic of the garden now calling me back home. Helio to Kauai, Hanale by the bay. Wailu River Valley is where I used to play. Canyons of Oimea standing all alone. The magic 